Namaste everybody, it's Kalina Ra here and welcome back to the Witcher 3. So I guess we are doing this pretty god one now. Oh all god, help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. <laughs> pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have. They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought. Driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches? Here? <laughs> How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Yeah, I'm saying it's just a normal person. I'm saying. I guess we need to hmm. go around. Wine. More like vinegar. Someone drank it anyway. Could follow the scent. I mean, There's I already know here. it's here, but. Need to use the eye. It's just going to be some normal loser who thinks he's so great. What? Who dares to stir oh my, my God. Divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. Expected the All God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curves and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell him that. Been in this hole long? For a century or so. One winter I found shelter here. Built a fire so large the flames let through the crack. Lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke. And suddenly heard a peasant. A voice. Out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus, I became a god. Parasite, more like. Maybe so. But what of Freya and Melitale, then, hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, giving naught in return. I talk, at least. <laughs> okay. None of these are really good things. Like, got an idea I'm going to kill you is just going to bring us to a battle. Settle for humble offerings or die, probably back to bad battle. And fine, I'll tell them we'll really not resolve anything. Listen here, lard ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Plowing reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll sup more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. Oh, that was actually fine. Oh. Cool. Can I steal from you? Oh, there's, there was a book. You know what a book means. <laughs> I tell him to live modestly and then I steal everything from him. him. I'm good. You know, there was a book to read. So I'm going to read a book. Radovic Fifth Stern, The Heart's Lock to Greatness, which brings us to the epi epithet of the current ruler of Lydania. The Stern, allow me to diagnose the causes and consequences of this appellation. Firstly, the seeds of Radovic Sternness were surely planted in his childhood, when Radovic was born to King Visimir and Queen Hedwig in 
1255, his care was immediately entrusted to Philippa Eilhard, the gold sorceress. While no one dared question if she was fit to be fit for the rule of Tudor, few now envisage her as having been a warm, ge warm caregiver to a young child, and whatever harsh lessons she gave, Radovic clearly left a lasting mark. The next step on Radovic's path to becoming the stern, the death of his father when Radovic was but 13 years of age. Though rumor has it, father and son barely knew it one another, another better. Gee, learn to speak. The mere fact of being thrust into one's inheritance at such an early age and in such murky circumstances must have had a hardening effect. Finally, the regency finished school in Radovic towards becoming just a stern, led by Sigismund Dijkstra of Tretogor. The regency council imparted about Radovic a style of politics seeped in Dijkstra's aggressive, no holds barred reason of state first principles. Such are the causes of Radovic's temperament. Now, on to the consequences. Most manifestations of his fierce manner are well known. However, a few illustrative examples might prove useful here. They include his summoning of the Order of the Flaming Rose to be his armed enforcers, his later support for the witch hunters in Trachelos cause, and finally there is the massacre at Lokmuni. Yet it is in the fight against Snufgard that Radovid has proven himself truly the stern. While the forces of other realms disintegrated in the face of the Empire's onslaught, he has strengthened his own realm and taken command of the joint armies of the North. Whatever the opinion of him before, all clear-eyed observers now agree. Radovid V, known as Radovid the Stern, is the North's last bulwark against Emhir's expanding power. Reading is difficult. But sure, let's get out of here. This can't be this easy, the quest. Anything new? Talk to your old god, face to face. And? Will he show us mercy? Mm -hmm. He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you! I told you the old god's merciful understanding. Thanks, Witcher. Oh, one last thing. Did you know there's a crypt beneath this hill? Might want to take a look sometime. Architecture is fascinating. Well, that was a easy, easy one. What shall we continue with? Are we continuing with the, this one? Oh, oops, I'll go there. Hello, Horsey. Let's go. And right. I mean, it's good for people to have things to believe in. Okay, very difficult to run here. Alright. Gonna leave you here. I'm going to swim. I don't know if I'm going to survive this much swim swimming. Probably. If I'm not well, that's my fault. Oh yeah, because we need to get to an island. And what is a better way to get to an island than to swim? Oh boy. Yeah, you seem to be fine with swimming. Are those drowners? Probably. Can't think of what else they could be. Okay, yeah, this is the Fike Island. Oh, they are rot fiends. Okay, I'm fine with that. So they explode when they start to like glow. Yeah, yeah. What? I can't hear. Great broke already. Sheesh, short lived this magic. Oh no, it's exploding. Shit. 
Stop it! Oh no, get out of there. Okay, that's not working very well in the rain. Is it now? Okay, get back, get back, get back. That was a screen. Okay, not good. I'm going to die against a few road fields. That's just it. Embarrassing. Don't really want to use healing potions quite yet. Okay, I'm slowly getting here because it's day. Even if it's raining and dark and stuff. Just one drowner is easy enough, but there's multiple drowners up there, or whatever there is. Yeah, drowners. So might not be as fun. Okay, I'm good. Missile though. Interesting. How about... Can I take a short break here? So that I'll get healed. Thank you. Maybe I should um, uh, change um, the day healing to something else because it's healing really slow. So have something better instead. So many monsters. Okay, back up. Cool. Who bees? A lot of monsters out here. Many cools. Okay, a bit too many. Why are they glowing red? Can they like power each other or something? Ouch. Ouch. They are healing also. Come on, come closer. And his head of its head. Should maybe eat something. Do I have actual food? Don't want to. Uh. Yeah, that was a good idea. I'm drunk now. Oh well, it's fine. How do you get drunk from one beer? Okay, so... How do I use the lamp? Mm, quest items are 
here and wait, where's the lamp? I thought it would go to the quest items. Oh well. A water hack. Ah, god damn it. Ah! Nasty. Ow! Hurt! Time to end this. He's cherry added. Nice. Anything in the sack? No. Ooh. Wonder what led them here. Hunger or greed. So can I now investigate this? Heck yeah. There's also the Let's rats. Try Kira's lamp. Yeah, how do I use it? Well, it didn't need that. Anything cool around? Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Oh yeah, Place I, I need to. Place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. Think they're feeding on. Right, I need to use the lamp on some bones, right? Blood. Many must have died here. Okay, this goes downstairs. layers around. I just want to look around a little. Well, they don't need that. There doesn't seem to be anything up here. I keep hearing a lot of noises. Okay, that seems to be everything for this layer. Okay, this goes really high up. I mean, it is a, a tower. At the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Okay, why do I hear like crying and stuff? Yeah, there's something about these. There we go. Like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. Mm. 
Ooh, but look, I always love reading those. Oh my. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Why do I keep hearing crying? This almost does to feel like um like a horror game or something. So what were the books I had? Or logs? Uh, let's read the first one first. Day 237. My experiments continue to return results I must consider unreliable. Methodological errors are not at fault. The problem lies in the shoddy and fallible research material I am forced to work with. Despite his prior assurance, Feserat is unable to provide me with enough moderately healthy specimens for my tests. Most of the material is starred and terrified, having been dragged here straight from the dungeon. I waste a great deal of time daily washing and deluging them before I even so much as let them step foot into my laboratory. Sterility first. A small disorder brain managed to prove in her little known work, the attitude of a patient undergoing treatment can have a significant impact on the battle against the disease. Unfortunately, the volunteers with which I am supplied do not show sufficient comprehension let alone enthusiasm for the noble work in which they are taking part. In fact, it seems they consider the research part of their punishment. I have tried a few times, though I am but a poor speaker, to convince them that they are contributing to the eradication of one of the greatest plagues tormenting mankind. I had the distinct impression they understood little, but perhaps their stupor was merely the result of the early stages of the illness. Of course, it is impossible to achieve success without significant sacrifices. The overwhelming majority of them will have to lay down their trifling lives on the altar of learning, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Do they have corona in there? Uh, which will do. A few days ago, I caught myself talking to one of them, to a particularly large black male with a tone of ear. At first I was overcome by panic. Was this a first manifestation of the illness? Uh, having the tone of ear or being black and large? I don't know. Or just maybe they were nonsensical or something? Of course, that was impossible, for I had fortified my immune... Oh, so you have them. Sorry, that was completely my bash, for I had fortified my immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration, I concluded it was an altogether natural reflex. Oh, the fear against the man. I see. One even the most learned among us find hard to restrain. We may just like to be listened to. Oh, I feel like crazy right now. I'm sorry. Oh no, maybe I felt... Whatever. Let's forget about that. I placed the black rat in a separate cage. The time will come for it to play a part in the tests. Meanwhile, it can keep me company and observe. I've noticed it looks with great concentration at... Oh, it was a rat! Well, that makes more sense. Meanwhile, it can keep me company and observe. I've noticed it looks with great concentration at the cages of its infected brethren particularly those in the last stages of illness. Fascinating. Speaking of company, I have none, besides the black rat, and cannot hope for better. Peserat avoids the laboratory and has expressed his, expressed his desire for his daughter to steer clear of me as well. At first I thought he feared a moral scandal, which would be risable in the extreme, but he explained the true, true reason in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile physical constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into foul humors. The peasants taking part in the study have stopped speaking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. It does me no harm. They made for lousy conver conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman. 
But as for her, I tried to limit my contact. A woman? Who? My black rat has died. Today I found him curled up in his cage. I suspected he had become infected on accident, but during the autopsy I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was also perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained. Something which I must admit irritates the scholar in me. But as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. Okay, he, his text really confused me at first, but whatever, let's keep going now. I know this keeps saying optional use the magic lamp to find the ghost, but there hasn't been any bones around. Okay, there's something there. Let's be careful. Thank you. Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. I really can't see anything. Could I somehow just a second? I mean, of course, it's not going to be here. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Is there anything I can do here? But there's dead people here, can I use the magic lamp? No, whatever. Let's see if there's something further down. Like uh, more down where I was before. Because there was rooms I haven't been to yet. Uh, is this the bottom layer? Okay, this took me outside, but there was these doors here. Oh, it's a locked. How about you? You go further down. I haven't been to here before. I guess there's nothing here. Yeah. So does that then mean I need to go outside? I keep saying use the lamp. I have the eye and the Xeno box, but where is the lamp? You would think it would be around here-ish. I don't have the lamp. Oh, it's in the bombs. Why is it in the bombs? Then I should be able to use it. But with uh, what command does it use it? Sorry, I just... Oh, there are pockets! I 
see. So how do I use stuff in my pocket? So we need to go back to the laboratory. Good job, me. So I need to use the lamp somewhere here. These corpses over here, but how do I use them? Is my question. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> We can't do anything about this. I keep hearing the crying. Probably not crazy for thinking that would mean there's a ghost somewhere. Like around here where this stuff is. But how do I use it? I'm so confused. is some kind of rift around here. See, because you can see myself in double. Mm. How does I use you? Very confused. How do I use you? Like usually everything is used with E on the appropriate area but Use Kera's lamp to investigate Alexander's laboratory. Yeah, how? Okay, this takes me just down there. I really don't know. Sorry, I'm... Middle wars button? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, I need to choose it like that and... Oh... I see. Okay, problem solved. So am I using it now? I think I am. Ooh. Could have told me. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. Oh, that's creepy. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Oh, that's the woman. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No, for I later awoke. I was alone in the dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. Eee. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? 
Don't turn into great or anything. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see things. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? Mm -mm. No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him, he must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Mm -hmm. Of course. I'm already gone this far. Oh, gee, that looks I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember. And want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. Annabelle's remains. Very interesting. Well, now we are done here, so let's get out of here. At least we discovered how that works and accidentally discovered how the crossbow works. <laughs> Good things. Good things indeed. Uh, can't get out of here, can I? Ooh. Gimme. I wonder when I'll become over encumbered. Wait, is there not such a thing in this game? Oh wait, yes there is, but there's still a long way to touch. Ah. What are you stuck in? Oh, a chair. Wait, where am I? Okay, that takes me downstairs. This is the way out. Ah, finally can see things. Can I get my horse here? Of course, my great teleporting it, horse called Roche. It might be a bit difficult to use a horse here though. Alright, how do I get around this fence? As a first thing to do. Oh, there's a boat there. Probably what I was supposed to use. To get to here. Oh well, I swam. Alright, let's go. Who would want to live in a swampy place like this? Come on, Roach. Okay, horse is not useful here. Let's just get swimming. Probably not the correct way to go, but shut up. This is perfect. I wonder what it looks like if I... Okay. Looks very dark and weird. What can you ex expect from a swampy island place thing? It 
it's good that Geralt is like Olympic level swimmer or something. <laughs> But this is a really long way. I don't know if it would be easier to go to land. I don't know, it seems to be kind of a long way to go if you go to the land. And Geralt seems to be a really good swimmer, so whatever. And we are already getting close. Are we getting there yet? Maybe if we land over there, then it might be a little faster to go there. I don't know. Okay, something is attacking me through water. I am not a fan, fan of that idea. And it's swimming faster than I am. And there's two, at three of them. Okay, they are gone. Never mind. Can you get up here? Yes, you can. Okay. You here? Of course my horse is here, because my horse is amazing. Alright, let's go. Ooh, now that we are here, um... Is there any possibility you could fix my armor? Also, maybe take some yeah. crap I have. Need something crafted. Can you take a look? Also, is there like anything you could actually make me? Wow. These are not even better than what I currently have. Ah, you are a weapon smith. I see. Could you repair my swords? Ooh, I barely have the money, but I really need them repaired. Okay, you can uh, repair my clothes or like my armor because you are a weapon switch. Go it. Alright, let's go. Should we also uh, level up? Character, what should we have as a next thing? Oh, we opened a new slot. That's great. We also have new kinds of uh, things. This I'll give a uh, vital DX. This gives sign intensity. Ooh. Mm, don't find that too useful. I think I should add this one here. How are you still locked? I am level... Ah. Need to open all of these. Got it. Mm, how about... Arrow deflection would be good. Should I change arrow deflection for the sun and stars? Oh, do I have... Uh, this one is clean. Do I have red ones? This is a blue one. It would go together with that. Ah, uh, but my vitality would be really low then. Yeah, all these others are green. This one is blue. Let's go with that now. Whatever. I do use signs, so it's fine. What's going on here? Why have you been following me? What do you mean? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Then want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the aisle. Talks to no soul. 
Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. Cool. Uh, what's our time? Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. It seems like a perfect spot. So I hope you liked it and bye-bye.